Hi Sophia, how are you? Hi, I'm well thanks, I'm just happy, how are you? Good, so if you were to choose, what animal would you be? Um, I'd probably go for an eagle because they're quite sort of, they're quite melodramatic I feel like, they kind of hang out quite high and get good views as well. Yeah, they see the world quite a cool perspective. Who is your role model and why? Um, yeah, it's a tricky one. I'd say a toss up between Michelle Obama and Taylor Swift. I, yeah, I love them both for different reasons, but they're both just really incredible women. Yeah. What is the food you crave most when you feel sick? I mean, it's a bit boring, but I'd say probably kind of a really solid chicken soup, you know, quite warm, some vegetables, quite, um, yeah, nutritious, you know. How do you spend your free time? Uh, well, when I have it, uh, usually usually hang out with the cat as a priority, then yeah, watch some TV, read some books like this one. <laughs> Shall so, I take you to the kitchen? What's your uh, favourite subject in school? Um, oh, that's a tricky one. I love history, I love English, I love maths and I love Spanish and that's all my A-levels, so I love them all. <laughs> if you could swap your life with one person, who would it be? Ooh, oh, that's a really good one. Um, I mean, I feel like possibly I study Spanish, so maybe one of the Spanish royal family. They seem quite cool, quite a tumultuous time for them, but yeah, I maybe swap lives with them. Um, if you could travel in time, where would you go? Oh, well, as a historian, there's too many to choose from. Um, I think potentially to maybe the Spanish conquest of Mexico, that's quite a cool time. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of language things, pretty, pretty interesting. Would you like a drink? I'm fine, thank you. That's quite a lot of apples. That is, isn't it? Well, you know, I just, I love apples. <laughs> <laughs> what are your top three favourite desserts? Oh, wow. Well, where's the sense? Brownie's definitely in there. Um, potentially, oh, actually, no, hands down, best dessert in all of school is peach cobbler, and that's a fact. It's just the best. It's scones, it's fruit, it's everything you want in a pudding. Where's your favourite place in the school? Um, oh, that's tricky. I mean, I love it in here. It's very light and airy. I also really love this outdoor space. Yeah, I'd probably say here, actually. Kind of a, a moment of calm in the, in the bustle of the city. The Could you describe your ideal holiday? My ideal holiday? Um, lots of books, lots of sun museum or two, maybe a mountain, a little bit of everything. Do you have a personal motto or belief you live by? If so, what is it? Um, something along the lines of yeah. you do you or um, uh, yeah, you never try, you'll never know, something like that, but a cold play. <laughs> so, cats or dogs or neither? Definitely not neither, potentially both. Um, I myself have a cat who I adore a lot, so um, I would say cats, but at the same time I know dogs give you a lot more than my cat does, so potentially dogs. What's your favourite movie? Favourite movie? Uh, well it depends if I'm trying to be serious or not, so, so my favourite serious movie, although it is slightly funny, would be Local Hero, but um, I, love, I love Cinderella, I love the Minions, I love anything to do with Despicable Me, um, Disney stuff, yeah. Pretty much anything. I'm quite a kids film person though, I really like throwbacks. <laughs> if you were to choose one song to listen to for the rest of your life, which would it be? Something by Taylor Swift. Uh, not, actually no, all too well, 10 minute version. Hmm. Classic. Which one's your favourite album? This is tough. Uh, it's between it's between Folklore, Red and Speak Now, but I also like Reputation and Lover was what kind of sparked me on my Taylor Swift journey <laughs> so but also her first I, I can't answer that actually they're all too good if you could describe the school in one word what would it be um, I'd probably say kind of um, I mean it's cheesy but community I think and I think that's genuine people really feel that it feels like a family a big team yeah absolutely what are some things that you could talk about for hours and hours ah oh, so many things Taylor Swift um, <laughs> Broadway musicals, um, NASA, uh, geography, Spanish, I mean loads of things, there's a, yeah, yeah I feel like I know quite a few, quite a, quite in depth about certain very specific niche topics. <laughs> Do you have a pet peeve? Uh, 
Yes, when people lock the door to brush their teeth, what are you doing? So silly. <laughs> people do that? Yeah, I know, it's craziness. <laughs> Which music artist concert, dead or alive, would you want to go to? I mean, it's not going to come as a surprise, but Taylor Swift. <laughs> ah, who knew? <laughs> what would you want to ask your six-year-old self? Oh, um, oh, that's a really good question. Uh, who's your favourite tennis player? Because it used to change on the daily for me. I was a big tennis fan at six, so something like that. What's a show you've rewatched multiple times? Pride and Prejudice, the 1995 Colin Firth version. I've watched that with my mum about four times. It's so good. <laughs> if you could choose one food and or drink to consume for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, well, I'd probably take water. Pretty solid choice in terms of biology. And then a solid pasta bolognese, you know? Yeah. Do you have a go-to clothing shop? Well, I'm trying to buy less new clothes and kind of trying to reuse some of them. So probably just any any charity shop. Maybe, isn't it? What would you say makes you happy? Um, I mean, being with other people, really, I really like. But then also sometimes it's nice to have some downtime. So being with other people, but also having some space is nice. You've been part of the Head Girl Trio now for about two months. What's your favourite part of the job? Oh, um, definitely meeting people. I've met so many cool students who are already here and new students and potential students and their parents. Just, yeah, meeting loads of new people. If you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Um, a bit of a hodgepodge, really. Like, <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff going on. I'm interested in lots of things. Yeah, just a little mixture. Okay, thank you so much, Sophia. Thanks for Bye. Bye.